morning, everyone. This is Dan at the Weather Service Office in Jackson uh, with the weekly weather briefing. So we're going to get started. So just as a highlight, not a real busy week. Um, looks like we're just mainly going to have daily rounds of showers and thunderstorms into the weekend as a cold front kind of meanders uh, back and forth across the area into the weekend. And it looks like maybe by Saturday into Sunday, we could see a little bit stronger cold front that will move through and maybe dry things out, but um, we will see on that. We've been kind of stuck in this uh, persistent, kind of a tropical pattern for a while now. So for today, uh, we just got the boundary just kind of meandering to the north of the area. Um, it looks like we will see some showers and thunderstorms, at least across generally for areas uh, along and east of I-55. Um, looks like in the west, you may see partly cloudy skies today. And it really just looks like isolated to scattered chances of thunderstorm activity. Not really expecting anything severe, but you know we, I can't rule out a strong storm uh, this afternoon, mainly in the east. For tonight, uh, the showers and thunderstorms should end early evening. Uh, skies will become probably the most cloudy overnight, and still, but you'll see that little cold front poised uh, to our northwest. And for tonight, pretty much the uh, showers and thunderstorms will end, like I said, uh, in the evening and become partly cloudy overnight. For Tuesday, a boundary will move into the region. I'm expecting increased chances for showers and thunderstorms as that cold front uh, moves into the area. So as you can see, it looks like the best chances uh, for showers and thunderstorms will uh, generally be east of the Mississippi River, a little more widespread chances of storms the further east you get. High temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees tomorrow. Um, once again, can't rule out a, a, an isolated strong to maybe even a severe thunderstorm uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, but uh, that's something to kind of look out for. And for Wednesday, that frontal boundary still kind of meanders and continues uh, across the area on Wednesday. Um, so we're going to see pretty much a uh, Chances for showers and thunderstorms pretty much every day through the week. So Wednesday, that frontal boundary is in the region. And then Thursday, uh, that front just continues to hang around with uh, continued chances for mainly afternoon showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Friday, that boundary is still pretty much uh, generally across the region. Um, don't key in on the specific location of the boundary. It could be further north or further to the south, but it still looks like we'll have quite a bit of moisture around and showers and thunderstorms potential pretty much Friday. And then finally on Saturday, it looks like a stronger cold front will move through. The timing's still kind of up in the air, but generally Saturday into Sunday. Um, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a drying over the weekend. And especially on Sunday, it looks like that front will finally uh, move east of the area and high pressure will build in with a little bit cooler conditions as we get into early next week. Um, so maybe a little bit of drying, maybe we can finally get out of this pattern that we've been stuck in for quite a while now. And then the last slide that I have is pretty much a seven day precipitation amounts. Generally I'm expecting not a lot of precipitation through the week, uh, but we could see up to about a half an inch across the north and then maybe an inch to inch and a half, maybe possibly two inches as you get further to the southeast. Now this is accumulations of rainfall over a seven day period. Um, so, but you could see areas that see a little more, areas see a little less, but um, so pretty much showers and thunderstorms and this kind of a wet summer-like pattern through the end of the week.